Hello, everybody. Okay, so I just want to put this ukiyo-e into context a little bit. Uh, this is a work done by Utagawa Hiroshige, and the subject in the ukiyo-e is Tomoe Gozen. Uh, if you don't know Tomoe Gozen, she's a pretty famous uh, samurai from the Heian period. If you read uh, Tale of the Heike, Okay, you can you can uh, you can learn more about her. So let's go ahead and start. So the first one. This is here. Maybe I can write like this. Uh, it's ko ko. Okay, the next one. This is also ko. Here, it's easier for me to write in Chinese. I think we say xia. No, not that one. Yeah, this one. Okay, ko ko, two ko's, ko ko. Okay, the next one, this is pretty easy. Ten. Nope. Oh, I'm still in Chinese, okay. I'll do this. Pen. Okay. Next is this one. No. Here. You know what? I can do these together. Pen no. Okay. So that's the first line done. We have ko ko ten no. Ko ko ten no. Okay. Now let's do the next line. I'm going to skip a few spaces. There we go. Okay, so this first character is Kimi. Kimi. There we go. Okay, the next one. Ga. Kimi ga. Now, actually, the kanji is like this one. It would be ga. Kimi ga but we're gonna change like this. Okay, so, kimi ga ta. Kimi ga ta. Okay, now this ta, it's like, I'll do it this way. It's like the do in shoku do, so it's this kanji. So I'm gonna change it to ta. I want the hiragana. No. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right. Kimi ga ta me. This one is pretty easy also. Okay. That's two lines done. Ko ko ten no. Kimi ga ta me. Okay. What's the next line? Kimi ga ta me. Okay, so this is a kanji, but what kanji is it? It's, let me skip some spaces, haru. There we go, haru. Okay, haru no. Haru no. Now this no is actually like, uh, is it no yoku? Yeah. Okay, so it's actually this no, but I'm gonna change it to no. Okay. Haru no. Truly this is no also. Haru no no, but it's this one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Haru no no. Ni. Now this ni. Okay, so this ni is actually this character. I don't know how you say it in Japanese, but it's this one. Chinese is R. Yeah, so here it's ni. Haru no no ni. Let me change it back to ni. 
There we go. Okay. That's three lines. Hoko ten no kimi ga tame haru no no ni. Yeah, haru no no ni. Okay, let's do the next line. So, this is E. Now, actually, uh, this E, it's like this E. So, let's change it back. E. Okay, the next one. E. De. Pretty easy. E de. Okay, this is a repeating mark. So that means this character repeats. So it's e de te. E de te. Okay, it's another line done. Next line. I'll start from maybe here this time. Okay, now. E de te. Uh, okay, this is wa. Actually, Oh, like this character, but let's change it back to wa. Okay, wa ka. It's the same like this one. It's a uh, like kano ka. Okay, so wa ka. This is one character, not two, I think. So. Waka na. Now I believe it's like the na. Oh, it's like the na in nara. This one. Okay. So waka na. Waka na. Okay. Next line. Oop. Waka na. Okay. This is su. Now, actually, it should be like this, but the reading for this is S. Okay, and this one is M. We have Wakana Tsum. Wakana Tsum. Okay, the next line. So this is a kanji, it's ware. Actually, in this situation, it's it's red waga. Yeah, okay. So waga, the next one is koromo, like fuku. Oh, no, 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 I should say koromo. Okay, so it's waga koromo. Waga koromo. Okay, the next line. This character is also a kanji. The answer is te, like this. Okay, now the reading for this, in this situation, it's de. De, so I'm gonna write de. Okay, waga koromo de. Okay, the next one. This is also ni. Ni. Now the actual character, is it this kanji? It's the left part of this kanji, this part here. But now it's ni. I'm gonna just write like this. Okay, now the next line. Here, let's change this to, yeah. Okay, waga koromo de ni. Next line. So now we're over here. Okay, probably you can guess this is also a kanji, but what kanji is it? It should be yuki. yuki. Okay, now the next one. Yuki. Wa. Yuki wa. Okay, and this wa is like this one, a ban. But the reading is 
Wow. So I'm going to leave it like this. Okay, so we have Yuki wa. Next line, almost finished. Okay, this is just, you know, the kind of regular hiragana. Fu. Let's go down a little bit. Fu. Yuki wa fu. This one is not too hard to. Furi. Yuki wa furi. You know, like, ame ga furu. Furi. Yuki wa furi. Okay. This one is also tsu. Now, actually, it should be. Let me take a look. Oh, okay. I don't know how we say this in Japanese, but in Chinese, it's like jin. Let me see. So, jin in Tianjin. There we go. Okay, so this is tsu. Furi tsu. So let's change this back. Furi tsu. This one. Okay, so this is also a repeating, repeating symbol. So it's furi tsu tsu. Furi tsu tsu. Okay, now finally we can read the whole thing. Hoko tenno. Kimi ga tame haru no no ni idete wakanatsumu wa ga koromo de ni yuki wa furitsutsu.